Some people who uh, maybe hear the teachings for the first time due to some karma, some imprints, <laughs> they already have faith in the teaching. They accept um, maybe everything. Maybe they accept everything and um, find this easy to accept. On the other hand, uh, there may be people um, who maybe have been listening to these teachings for a very long time, maybe even like me, giving teachings on this for a very long time, who still, deep down, find it difficult to accept. They only have an intellectual understanding, understanding correctly all of the characteristics of karma, the details and so on and so forth, but when it comes down to accepting our own particular situation, we find difficult maybe, we can find difficult to do. So, um, therefore to overcome <coughs> such a problem, we need to continuously study, listen to teachings, contemplate, meditate with a faithful mind and deepen our um, appreciation and understanding of, of karma. If we don't accept karma, you know, if we reject karma, like many people do, most people in this world presently do not accept it. If we do not accept it, can we answer uh, our own questions about why we're suffering? Why things go wrong? Um, who is giving us problems? And why are they doing it? What's motivating these people? And how? How are they managing to uh, harm us? How are they managing to hurt us? So if we think about that deeply, um, we'll find we're unable to give correct answers. <laughs> and the reason is because actually there's no connection or relationship between other people external events, their actions, what they say and what they do, the external things that appear to us, there's no connection between all of that and our experience of suffering. There's just no connection at all. <laughs> we think, wait a minute, there must be a karmic connection somewhere. Everything is karma, but if we check, um, for example, we can think when we are in pain, okay, when we're suffering, we're unhappy, depressed, that is something coming from inside, isn't it? It's some, something happening inside our mind. So, how can something outside our mind, how can some external object create that feeling? of pain. How, how does that work? Exactly, please, can you tell me? What are the precise mechanical explanations? 